Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny 2. This is your host, River Foxen, and it is now week 8 of the season of the Splicer. And we're going to see what is in store for us. My guess is it's going to be yet another round of Expunge. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. The light is fading, Guardian. We know the name of the sickness in the heart of the network. Quiria strangles the light. It does not bend it as we splicers do, but twists it, shatters it, and pushes the shards through the skin of reality. It is forcing its terrors upon us. And if it succeeds, there will be nothing left. No splicer could stand before a being of such power. But then, you guardians are like no splicers before you. Charge your gauntlet. Focus your mind. And walk further into the light than ever before. For us all. For everything. Please. Wow. Mithrax greets you with dark news. The light is fading. As the endless night peaks in intensity, Quoria's powers reach from within the Vex network to drain the last of the city's energies, intent on forcing its terrors upon this reality. He tells you that he has finally found Quoria's seat of power in the Vex domain, and only a splicer of your ability can stop it. Charge your gauntlet, he says, and walk further into the light than ever before. Please. Alright. So there is a chance that this week we will be fighting Quoria. Um, I don't know. Uh, again, I um, this uh, update this week has just started. It's Tuesday night. And uh, I try not to kind of uh, pay too much attention to what uh, people are saying on other YouTube channels and other blogs and stuff. So, but uh, uh, last week there was... Uh, at least one source I think it was it was probably my name is Bife I'll be honest I do watch his uh, channel religiously who kind of implied that we probably were going to be facing Quaria uh, at the end of this week's uh, Corrupted Expunge maybe I don't know um, but it, it makes sense because if I remember the uh, the Expunge mission that uh, we'll be doing on the corrupted version of this uh, time uh, did have kind of a uh, like a giant taken or it's a giant uh, mind a hive mind or uh, what are they not hive um uh vex mind uh at the end of it uh that was the boss fight so there being kind of a corrupted taken version of a mind makes uh sense anyway i believe um just calls for us to do yeah, an override so uh, we're going to do that or at least I'm going to do that uh, off camera so we'll be back momentarily ooh and there's Crow whis whistling that song Savathun's song you know that that's really ominous like I said I don't think that that particular line you know what's going on with the song What's going on with uh, with Osiris and and uh, Crow, and how this is all gonna and how Savathun is going to kind of show herself? Obviously, that's leading up to the next big expansion uh, in this season. I think we're simply going to be dealing with Coria and hopefully bringing back the light. I'm not even sure that we're going to bring back the light. Rather careful in her manipulations. But to fool the vet. You almost sound like you admire her. Shouldn't I? We could learn much from studying Sabathun's manipulations. See a larger picture. To what end, Osiris? 
How better to understand your enemies than to learn to think like them? All right, so let's go ahead and do this corrupted expunge. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but I remember this one wasn't that bad. It was more of a puzzle than a um, than a fight. You know, there was a couple places where I didn't need to fight, but mostly it was, you know, finding the, uh, uh, the things I needed to hit. Although we're going to have the added complexity of it being corrupted, meaning there's probably going to be, like, you know, voids and when stuff. When you first stole into this realm, I did not believe you could achieve what you have. Invading a domain of vexed consciousness like this, yet... Here you are, embodiment of the impossible. Somehow, in spite of everything you've accomplished, I managed to underestimate you. I won't make that mistake again. What do you mean by that? Sound like a threat. are content to keep throwing the same defenses at you. Get into the domain, Guardian. So yes, this part is still the same. There it is. It's like I know it's coming soon. Oh. It's the worst. Thought I was safe. It was not. And it knocked me off so I couldn't jump back on easily. Hear it behind me. But I made it. This is a Vex disintegration domain. Eradicating unneeded simulation data and abandoned terraforming projects. Beware those barriers. They will destroy all matter they touch. the other one. There's two more. Shoot, that I already forget where everything was here and I've already lost the uh, charge. Okay, there's one here. And where's the other one?
one down. Luckily I have enough gauntlet upgrades that these walls are not as dangerous as they could be. over here. It's on the other side of that thing. I don't think the best approach is going to be. Oop. Where's the other one? There it is. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, it's over there, but I'm out of charge now. Alright, build up 32 seconds. Okay, there's still something here. Oh, I still need the charge as well. So I killed the creatures, but I still need charge. Oh, come on, that's the worst. So I may run into problems here if I don't get some ammunition. Once more, the begs fall into our snare. The Domain's master is yours. Destroy it. So that doesn't look like Quaria, so it's just a regular fight. I actually do need 
left to spawn. I need ammunition. Oh, come on, the ammunition is gone. Oh, I guess I got some of it. Just doing enough damage to me that it's keeping me. Ability stage now. There's another one where I need to get the charge. I only got 32 seconds.
and the Witch Queen will be forced into retreat. The Vex lose guidance. This network becomes unmanaged. Ikora has taught how Guardians cornered the Undying Mind not long ago. With her wisdom and Elixni splicers, we have plan devised. Drag Coria from hiding. May its last thought be of fear of you. Alright, so what does this mean? Expunge Delphi. So this one's new. It's on Europa. So, anyway. Let's take a look at that. So that's Tartarus, so... Is that it's on Europa? Oh, here it is. Expunge Delphi. All right, so interesting. All right, so I'm gonna change my loadout and I will be back in a bit. All right, I guess we're gonna give this a try. So far, it's exactly the same. So I changed my loadout. So I've got the uh, auto rifle, um, which um, has the uh, anti-armor, anti-barrier. And I brought Ariana's Val, intrinsically anti-barrier, but also has anti just killed me. One of these days, I'm gonna make it through. Security, mirroring the mains you have previously collapsed. The challenges you face here are the very ones you faced as you honed your splicer powers. You are ready for this. Our hopes rest on you. All right, 
jumping puzzle time. Doing so well. But I was not. Shoot! Forgot something. shooting me. Oh. Ready? Oh, this is different. Warrior rages against your presence. I can feel the sickening rot of the Taken's power shuddering through this domain. Okay, the I see how this works. Struggle now. against the yoke of oppression laid on them. Behind the other 
that uses them as pawns. Does their cowardice know no end? So was this here before when I was looking for it? Because I think this is going to make this whole thing considerably easier. starting here in all of this. So now we're going on to the next one. So much more than thou, Garnet. We are all here. We believe in you. Maria is close. The taken corruption in this next domain is deep. I can feel its infection through their systems. Fingers of darkness grasping, searching. Be careful, Guardian.
Oop, there's nothing here. Well, that's nice. This is Coria. Coria, play transform. The dreaming mind. Go. This is it. Fight with everything you have. Let's guide you. So I probably have to deal with that thing somehow. these things but luckily I can respawn which is not always the case Why is it deleted? Oh. At ten seconds. It's impossible. How am I supposed to do that?
Okay, apparently this is how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, come on. Well, that's not working. Oh, come on, it went right through his legs. some slack. Not yet? No, I gotta do this twice. Awesome. She's lost her shield.
Alright. There is a lot of stuff attacking me right now. got deleted. Oh my goodness. jumping puzzles it's so hard to kind of you know control where I want to land and it's especially hard when like people are like shooting at me and I ran out of time uh. I think I can actually make it without actually using the platforms. Alright. At least for this one. Alright, the other one. I kind of need platforms. But as we can see, they're a bit more conveniently located. All right. Man, everybody and their brother is shooting at me.
thing isn't going to take me anywhere. champagne in the city just yet. Osiris is right. This is a monumental victory for humanity and Elixir. But it's a battle, not the war. Even so, victories should be cherished. Yes, Mithrax is correct. We will have a party, a celebration. A small one, but respectful. Very classy. I will wear a suit. All right. Wow. So, that, that was a, an interesting fight. Uh, still too much jumping for my, uh, for my tastes. Uh, not enough cover. I just, it doesn't fit my playstyle. And sometimes I feel like the playstyle has changed uh, as this game has gone on. Like, you know, I'm used to kind of like, oh, I'll find some cover and peek and poke. And it, you can't do that here. Everything is coming at you from like every angle uh, a lot of the uh you know when you think you're in cover they're uh hitting you with like blast radius uh stuff so you're still taking a little bit of damage enough to keep you from you know getting your health back but wow i'm kind of uh glad that's done anyway let's let's get out of here Let's see, who do I need to talk to next? All right, I'm gonna go to the tower and talk to Ikora. One thing that was kind of nice of them is that they didn't, you know, make it reset each time I died during the boss fight, so although I died quite a bit. Ooh, things haven't really cleared up yet here, huh? I guess that makes sense. It would be weird if it cleared up for, like, people who hadn't actually finished the story yet, so they'd probably have to clear it up sometime later. But yeah, it would have been really sucky if, like, each time I died, I had to, like, kind of respawn at the beginning and start over. Finding Quiria at the center of the Endless Night confirms our worst suspicions. It was the arm Savathun used to strangle our city. With it docked, to borrow an elixir term, we purge Savathun from the Vex Domain. I only hope we stopped her in time. The Dreaming Mind's defeat, as with so many things Vex, is a process. It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the Vex network. In the meantime, Osiris is focused on collecting all the data we have on Savathun, separating small truths from the many layer of lies. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our comprehension. I want to know what she hoped to gain. 
I thought I might ask Lakshmi for her assistance, but that device she uses. By Osiris's description, it's used to align one's consciousness with other temporal realities, and has driven many war cultists insane. The visions it shows her, they cloud her judgment. Even now, she believes the Elixni will be the cause of some great catastrophe. Osiris seems to think he can get through to her. He understands the technology. He understands her perspective, but I can only give him so much time. All right. Quaria has been defeated, but there is no relief in Ikora's voice. The dreaming mind's defeat, as with so many things Vex, is a process. She says, It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the Vex network. She is now concerned with helping Osiris reach Lakshmi too, who still believes the Elixni will cause the dark future she saw. But above all, Ikora is watching for Savathun's next move. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our comprehension, she says. I want to know what she hoped to gain. Alright, well, she seems to still trust Osiris, but I don't. Anyway, we have to head to the helm. The moon beckons, Guardian. Whatever that pyramid is, it knows what haunts us. It knows our wounds. Guardian, I wanted to be among the first to send my regards. Your victory today has lifted a great weight from my chest. I feel like I can breathe again. I hope you're not too proud to accept my praise. Even though we may not see eye to eye. Pride is a dangerous affliction. It is clear Ikora suffers from it. And yes, I know. I do as well. Do you see? I can admit when I am wrong. Which is more than I can say for some of our current leaders. The city deserves someone who acts. Someone who does what is right. Even if it is unpopular. After all, you destroyed Quarrier against the wishes of countless Vex. You did what had to be done to protect your city. You acted bravely. I admire you for that. You and I. We will speak more when this ugliness is behind us. After the fallen have returned to space, and this endless night is a memory. Our city could use more heroes. Lakshmi too seems pleased with your victory over Quaria. She tells you she admires you and hopes you will accept her praise, even though you have had your differences. The city deserves someone who acts, she tells you, someone who does what is right, even if it is unpopular. We will speak more when this ugliness is behind us, she says, after the fallen have returned to space and this endless night is a memory. So yeah, she still wants the fallen out. And I still don't trust her. Alright, well, let's see what Mithrax has to say. Quoria is no more. The threads of its influence lay limp across the weft of this reality. I thought its defeat would have driven the endless night from our skies. We must trust it will fade instead. Fitting, as the 
distrust between my people and yours will not vanish in a single act, but slowly, over time. We, everything, can begin to heal. You have united us in your light, Guardian. It was my honor to watch you grow into a sacred splicer. Though this journey may be over, I hope we can still walk together. We will have a beautiful sunrise. Mm -hmm. Mithrax celebrates your victory over Quaria. He looks into the dark of the endless night and imagines it slowly lifting, and his spirits lift along with it. He tells you he is honored to have watched you grow into a sacred splicer and hopes that your journey together is not over. Even through the servitor, you hear the joy in his voice when he pictures the future. We will have a beautiful sunrise, he promises. All right. So I believe that is the end of Path of the Splicer 8. So that will be the end of this week. And as we see here, it's the end of all of the Path of the Splicer quests. So I believe that means that we are pretty much done. But I have a feeling, also because I saw it in a roadmap, there's going to be some sort of epilogue in the coming weeks. So obviously we'll be back uh, when that happens. But uh, for the time being, I guess we will take a little break. Uh, a much needed break for me because uh, I've been working some crazy overtime at work and it has actually been a little tough for me to record these, especially on weeknights, just so I can try and get them out, um, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, but, you know, I, I would probably want to play these anyway. Um, so exactly how do I feel about this season? Well, the story is excellent. Uh, it's it's been tense, um, kind of knowing that something bad is going to happen. And still, we've got indications that something bad is still going to happen. And just kind of not really being able to control it. You know, I mean, yes, we potentially have solved the Endless Night, but it's not completely gone yet. So we don't know. Um, and, you know, we still have worrying words from Lakshmi and, and Osiris is still acting suspicious and saying kind of suspicious things. Um, and nobody seems to really kind of be aware of it. Uh, I mean, Ikora seems to trust him uh, as much as she did uh, before. Um, so there's that. So story-wise, excellent season. Uh, Gameplay-wise, uh, I really enjoy the override um, missions. Uh, it's kind of fun to just be in a group of like six people and just kill a bunch of stuff and then, you know, kill a boss. Uh, it did become a little bit samey. It's, it's actually quite easy because there's six people. Uh, but uh, the expunge, I don't think I was a fan of expunge um, because uh, just too much reliance on platforming and and, you know, part of it, like I said, is is the kind of the character I've picked and my gameplay style. But, uh, you know, platforming in a first-person shooter is not, you know, really... doesn't really feel good. It's so hard to kind of judge how you're going to land when, for the most part, you don't even see where your feet are. So it's like I got to be like, okay, look down, do I? Okay, you know, it's it's... It's really hard to judge, and especially since so much of the game you don't need to kind of worry about judging your platforming because it's very, usually it's forgiving. There's not that many endless bottomless pits uh, in most content, but here it's like all bottomless pits. And, you know, if you don't land on the tiniest platform, which might be about to disappear, uh, you have to start the whole thing over again, and that got very frustrating to me. Um, you know, comparing it to Season of the Chosen, which unfortunately I didn't record, um, you know, I actually was like kind of the opposite. I didn't like Battlegrounds that much, um, mainly because it was, it was actually, I felt like a little too tough. Like, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we di you, you die a lot because there's just waves and waves of enemies and really strong enemies and champions. And... 
you know, typically you're, you know, paired up with with a couple of randos, and everybody's just kind of going their own way. It's there's there's not any coordination, um, unless you've got like a standard, um, you know, a, a fixed fire team, which which I don't. Uh, so, but uh, you know, some of the uh, other stuff was was really cool, and I really liked the strike with in the tank. That was really fun. Um, anyway. Uh, and the story was also good. This story is is probably on par with last season's. It's just that the uh, I just don't like expunge, and so every time the week came by and it's like, oh, I have to do expunge again. I was just like, oh, I don't want to. Anyway, that's uh, going to be the end of this episode and probably the end for a little while. Like I said, when uh, if and when some new content kind of pops up this season, I will record it and post an episode. But otherwise, I guess we're going to be waiting until we find out what happens next season. Um, I'm not sure what the schedule is. I don't remember when the next big expansion comes out, but I don't think it's that soon. So, um, so next season, we'll see what happens. Anyway, if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.